Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lens, and with iOS 14, Apple finally brought us widgets for our home screens. It feels like a long time coming, but essentially enables easily glanceable information right there on your phone without having to go look for it. So in this video, I'm going to show you the process of how to add them, remove them and edit them, bearing in mind that I'm currently running the public beta. So that process might change slightly by the time the official release is out. So it's actually quite simple. You press and you hold your home screen until your app icons wiggle, just like if you were moving apps or creating folders. Now you'll see a little plus icon in the top left corner. Tap that plus icon and then you'll get to your app widget options. There are a few already made options at the top, but if you scroll down, you'll find more apps that you can use. So now choose between three different sizes. One is a small square that takes up the space of four app icons. The other takes up two whole rows of app icons and the other takes up four rows. Obviously, depending on the app, there are benefits to each size, but choose the app widget and size you want and then drag and drop it to your home screen or tap the add widget icon. Your app icons will automatically move out of the way, and some will inevitably be pushed to the next home screen if there's no space for them all on the one you're on. Now to move the widget, you just long press and drag it like an app icon, and that includes the ability to add the widgets into your today view screen to the left of your first home screen. If you want to, you can add widgets directly here by tapping the plus icon in the top left of that screen. Some widgets can be edited, for instance weather will let you change the location, so tap and hold the widget until the pop-up menu appears and then choose the edit option. This is also how you remove the widgets by tapping the remove widget option in that pop-up menu. Now if you've chosen the smart stack widget which automatically shows information from a collection of apps and scrolls through them, you can edit the order of the apps by bringing up that pop-up menu and then dragging from the three line menu icons to the right. You can even remove specific sources by swiping across to the left on that source. By the time iOS 14 is official, third party apps should have access to widgets and you'll get much more in the way of customization options then. Hope you found this video useful. If you have, please hit that thumbs up and hit subscribe to see more. I've been Cam. I'm at Cam Bunton on social media and I'll see you again soon.